Uh, Professor Nair, I must start with you. As a former ISRO chief, I can only imagine uh, the levels of pride in your heart today, the joy in your heart today. So please share your thoughts with us at this point, Professor Nair. Uh, it's a remarkable achievement as far as uh, India is concerned, and the Indian Space Program has uh, done it proud. Uh, to de decide on landing on another planet uh, at a precise location uh, on the designated date and time is something which is unique in the history of space exploration. India has done it with the textbook precision, and the entire team is so has to be complimented and congratulated for this fantastic achievement. In fact, uh, yes. it's the uh, uh, world's first to have a live uh, beaming of the landing operation and uh, precisely reaching there uh, uh, and also trying to maneuver like a hovercraft over the lunar surface and identify the right location and place the spacecraft there. So this is something which uh, I will say uh, India's uh, uh, technical power, technology uh, capability has been demonstrated globally and we can be really proud of uh, this achievement. At the same time, whatever scientific takeaway and findings what we have from this will be shared with the international community and that will add to the knowledge about the moon and the planetary system in the days to come. And when we are thinking of uh, setting up colonies, uh, on the lunar surface, either robotic colony or the human colonies, such information will become very, very useful. And that too, uh, the southern polar region is very, very little understood. And uh, this is a good beginning as far as the space community is concerned. Professor Nair, this has all been achieved uh, at an extraordinarily low budget. Uh, it has uh, been, uh, been achieved at uh, less than the budget of most Hollywood movies and less than the budget of some Bollywood movies as well. How has ISRO done this, sir? Uh, well, certainly, we you know, ISRO's track record is uh, to have careful planning of all these uh, uh, programs. Uh, in fact, the Chandrayaan one time itself, uh, we had in mind the mission of landing on the moon, the Chandrayaan-2, and so on. So the continuity of this program and how a, a subsystem or component which is developed for a particular mission is uh, used again and again. That's one advantage which we have. The Secondly, we have uh, the, the dedication and hard work of the ISRO community and the, uh, in large is uh, uh, globally acknowledged. In fact, they don't get the fat salaries like what the multinationals in, in India or uh, the space community abroad. Uh, their salaries are much lower. But in spite of that, the passion with which the ISRO team uh, pursues these uh, long-term goals uh, is very, very important. In this, yeah. the goal setting and the vision of the leaders like uh, Dr. Sarabhai, Dr. Kalam, Professor Dhawan, etc., has really played a very significant role in creating this ISRO culture of uh, actually taking on the challenges uh, boldly and showing the results at a least cost uh, manner. You, you know, before I come to, uh, to Tapan Mishra, Professor Nair, earlier in the day, we were speaking to some of your colleagues and one of them said, you know, we don't need we don't need much material motivation when we need to motivate as ourselves a, a masala dosa, an extra masala dosa at 5 p.m. is enough. And that really captured the simplicity, but also <laughs> but also the passion, uh, as it were, of the ISRO culture. As you mentioned, you know, these are none of you have done this for money. You haven't done this for big bucks. You've done it purely from passion and, and being true patriots of India, Professor Nair. Masala dosa is all it takes. Yeah, you said it. I think uh, most of the time, the launch campaign, you know, it uh, starts in the early morning, 8 o'clock, and uh, continues up to something like uh, 10 to 12 in the, mid in the midnight. So in between, of course, the normal time, they have to buy their lunch. But we yes. have we give the intensity of this masala dosa and coffee that is very attractive, and uh, people stay on uh, until the late in the evening. And more <laughs> than that, is a technical challenge and the passion which the yes. people have got towards the space technology. That's what is driving the the entire organization. It is not money. You look at the entire scientists in the ISRO community. You cannot find many millionaires in among them. 
they are all very ordinary people living very common life in a very very uh, subdued manner 